What's this? Uh-oh. Here we go again. Not again. No, this time it feels different. Rather than shifting from reality to a nightmare, this is more like reality becoming a nightmare. I don't like this feeling, like something bad will happen. No doubt something terrible is going on. You think? All right, so we're back in the alternate version of the world again. Let's start by heading over here to this little alley. Is there some more supplies? Shotgun shells and a health drink. All right, so we're gonna follow Sanford Street until we get to the road that's leading to the docks. Mm -hmm. Go away, Night Flutter. Oh, and a romper, too. Just what I needed. Right, so I think it's the next left. should be. Jeez. There's a lot of these things. Go down, hurry! <laughs> Somehow I didn't take damage there. <laughs> oh, that was close. Uh, oh. Uh, just a hanging body, no big deal. There's a body stuck to the bulkhead. Sybil. Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy, and I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading, trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. What's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... Oh, the Dahlia. The is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. 
was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. You keep saying that. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Jeez. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. Oh yeah, simple. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, okay. What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. All right then, Sybil. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. You will need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? You didn't try to stop her? What if we just sent her to her death? You crazy old lady. Well, handgun bullets, rifle shells, and a health drink. Perhaps we should save as well. All right, so now it's time for the run to the lighthouse. We're going to be dodging a lot of monsters along the way. Should mostly just be warm heads and night flutters. Oh, there's rompers here too. Great. Wait, did I just... No, I didn't. I thought I got turned around. Go away, Romper. Get off. Okay, fine. You want to dance? Almost there. All right, here we are. Ooh. There we go. All better.
Let's go up the spiral staircase. Ah, Alessa. And she's gone. Damn, I was too late. And look, she made another seal. So I guess there's only one left. Thankfully, don't, we don't have to make the whole run back. It just warps us back there automatically. Sybil hasn't come back. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. All right, well, let's go save Bennett, uh, Sybil Bennett. I don't know why I just called her Bennett. Okay, so we need to get to Sanford Street and then make our way west. And we're looking for a hole in the gate. So let's get to the north side of the street. Just hug this area. Oh, there we go. Could Sybil have gotten to the amusement park from here? Well, back into the sewers we go. Sybil? She was attacked from behind. We gotta save her. Oh, there's that mark again. So right here is another sewer map. This one's pretty straightforward though. Now, just like the other sewer, we ha do have- oh, ow! We got more hang scratches to deal with. Get down. See a couple more. You want to die already? Thank you. Oh, 
new variant of the gray child here called Mumblers. They look like mo moles with claws. God, we're seeing the smark of Samael all over the place down here. Okay, there should, I don't think there's any other items, so it should be a pretty straight shot for me. To the exit. Let's ignore them. Yeah, this is like the only area in the game that mumblers actually show up. One of them actually attacked Kaufman or, uh, uh, during his side quest. We saved him from it. Phew! So there's not a map of this area, but we're basically in the uh, amusement park. We're basically heading in like a northeast-ish, northeast-ish direction. But there's no map, so it's kind of hard to tell. There's a merry-go-round. Ghost there. So we made it to another merry-go-round. Sybil? Uh, are you okay? Her eyes are red. Okay, so whoever attacked her from the back actually attached a parasite to her. Like the puppet nurses and puppet doctors at the hospital. Now you can just straight up kill her, but instead, if you got the, the red liquid over at the hospital, just get close and use it on her. And we save her, instead of killing her.
Ew. Kill it, Harry. <laughs> what a wimpy stomp. Sybil. Wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. Yay, she survived. Harry. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Oh. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. Seems likely. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. Well said, Harry. Now that's a dad there. Hello again, Alessa. Hold it right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. Uh, Harry? Oof! She just force pushed us. Now a barrier? Guess we gotta use this thing, the Flauros? What is this? The Cage of Peace? Ah! Oh, she got zapped. So much for the Cage of Peace. Cheryl, give me back my daughter. Right. We Dahlia? At last, Alessa. Dahlia Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. Mama? Huh? Could she be... Mama? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. Um... But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. This man? Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. From me. Bad girl. Let's go 
I think we may have been helping the wrong person all this time, Harry. I think we've been used. Damn it. Lisa? Uh, I twitch? Lisa, you okay? Harry. She looked like she Lisa. wanted to kill him. What happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms. But nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling. Like I'd been there before. Like something happened there. But I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Lisa, come back! Damn, what's that? That sound... from down there. It's coming from the basement.